Ever since Amanda was little, she was headstrong, and I ain't, if I cry, y'all, I can start over. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. Anyway, she's always been headstrong and smart and wonderful and beautiful, and now she's getting married and uh, successful. And I will remember this day forever, and you will too. And when I met Brian, loved him to death. Uh, when he asked for your hand in marriage, he remembers, I'm sure. I was like, no. <laughs> He's like, and he, he thought I was serious. I was like, man, I'm just kidding. We actually met on Christian Mingle, and um, I never thought I would do something like that, but one of my great friends met her husband on Match, and so that's how I ended up um, deciding to go on online dating. Um, after I went on one date with her, I knew I wanted to uh, continue dating her after the second date I knew she was the one I wanted to marry. I just knew it was something different. I felt really comfortable and just I wasn't, I don't know, I didn't feel like I had to be somebody I wasn't and it was a comforting feeling to be able to just be with somebody that liked me for me. She and I have the best time laughing and just uh, her relationship with God is something I love. Um, how we can talk about God for hours. And I can't wait to marry my best friend. Is proud to be married. I did. I love this part of the ceremony because of the picture of a dad giving the um, the daughter's hand in marriage. And I just think about you, Brian. And I think you know your parents didn't raise you to be a first officer. They raised you to be a captain. And now you get to take the reins of your own family. And that's what they raised you. And Amanda, I have to think as a parent, knowing that uh, you are the answer today of years and years and years of prayer, not just Brian's, but years of prayer from his parents because we understand the value. Bible talks over and over again about the value of a godly woman and a godly wife. And so that's what we come here today to celebrate. At this moment, we're going to come back behind the gazebo and Brian and Amanda are going to tie a knot which is gonna resemble uh, their joining together in the help of the Holy Spirit that's gonna bind this marriage. The white strand symbolizes that the Lord Jesus Christ was invited by Brian and Amanda to the position of authority in this marriage relationship. The navy strand represents the groom. As a new creation in Christ, the majesty of the groom is represented in purple. As Brian loves his wife and submits himself to the Lord, the Lord will in turn demonstrate his great love in the marriage relationship. Ecclesiastes 4.12 says this, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Today, Brian and Amanda have been woven together by God as one. Have you, Brian, accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? I have. Amanda, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Absolutely. For as much then as you, Brian, and you, Amanda, believe that it is God's will that has brought you to this place, and believing that you too become one flesh, I take great pleasure in a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to pronounce you husband and wife. Brian, you may kiss your bride. Let me be the very first to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Ingram. <laughs> Amanda, you're so intelligent and very caring and so, so beautiful. You have the biggest heart of anyone I know and I'm so very blessed and proud to call you my sister. Life would not be complete without you in it. Brian, you are a very caring and funny man. You fit right in with our family, even if we are a little crazy and off the rocker. You still fit right in. I know without a doubt you love my sister with all your heart and soul. I want to thank you for treating her with the utmost respect. They say you don't marry the person you can live with, 
but the one you can't live without. I hope and pray that God blesses y'all's marriage and that you both love with no ending. So here's to the bride and groom. This is your captain speaking. <laughs> Sorry, Brian, took your line. <laughs> now, Brian, as you guys know, is a great guy. But something you guys might not know or be way too familiar with is that he overthinks everything. <laughs> everything. As guys, we talk about a lot together. So when him and Amanda started talking, see, he would tell me about it. He would tell me about all the dates they went on, how much he likes spending time with her, even his plans for the future with her. It's very nice but you still overthought everything. <laughs> so Brian, you've definitely overthought a lot of stuff, but Amanda, in all my conversations with Brian, he has never, like not once, overthought or even doubted his love for you. So will you all join me giving a toast to the bride and the groom? <laughs>